So Josh, why is this your favorite gaming headset? Well guys, let me show you. For context, I don't really use wired headsets in my gaming setups, I just hate cables. So admittedly that does narrow down the choice a bit, but I currently own four other wireless headsets and this is by far my favourite one. It's called the Logitech G733 and for a start it looks fantastic, that was initially what made me press the purchase button. I really like what they've done with the design, it looks sleek, it looks futuristic and it also comes in white which I'm very glad about. It seems like Logitech have really put effort into the aesthetics this time around with all the available colour options and that carries across into all the products in the new light speed range. I love the customizable suspension head strap design, it is removable and replaceable. You can actually go on Logitech's website and purchase the head strap separately, they have a bunch of different colours. The one that comes with this particular headset though is called Purple Glitch, which in my opinion looks absolutely killer, it's got a very neon vibe and contrasts nicely with the rest of the headset. Also from an aesthetic standpoint I like the use of the different textures on each part of the headset, it's predominantly matte white but it has got some gloss accents as well, which just give it some extra dimension. As you can see the exterior is an all plastic construction but it actually feels rather nice, it's got an almost soft rubberized finish to it in places and there's plenty of flex in the headband it never feels like it's gonna snap there's also a nice chrome logo on each side of the headset along with the model number subtly embossed just above the ear cups and yeah in general it just feels very sturdy nothing rattles around or feels janky when you shake it which is always a good sign now comfort is one of the most important things in any gaming headset and this thing I'm pleased to say is extremely comfortable. The ear cushions are made of this grey fabric. In my opinion fabric is the best material for ear cushions, it doesn't get hot like leatherette does and these ones also have a good amount of memory foam padding. I wear these things for 8 plus hours sometimes and I wouldn't say I experience any discomfort. The ear cups are a good size, it is a very lightweight headset too coming in at only 278 grams. The headband suspension system works well, I think they've definitely taken some inspiration from Steel Series in this regard. The ear cups also slide up and down to accommodate different head sizes. It's just an overall really comfortable headset, I think a lot of people will get on well with this. In terms of controls, we've got an on off button, a volume wheel and a mic mute button. Although you can actually reassign that button to do pretty much anything you want, like literally anything you want. Watch this. Now yes, that was pretty useless, but you get the idea. You can even launch programs with it if you really want to. I, however, am just gonna leave it as a mic mute button. Speaking of the mic, here it is. It is detachable and you can bend it. It stays in place pretty well when you bend it side to side. However, up and down, not so much. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of detachable mics on headsets, I find them annoying. I'd much prefer it if they'd implemented a retractable mic instead. Now as regards mic quality, there are various settings you can play with in the G-Hub software, but here's what the mic sounds like just straight out of the box. So here's the audio straight from the Logitech G733 mic, and as far as headset mics go, it's okay, I wouldn't say it's amazing. Now the software actually has a plugin built in from Blue Microphones called Blue Voice and it's essentially a bunch of EQ presets for the mic to get it to sound a little bit better. Now the cool thing is, is you can record a sample of your voice within the software and then have it play it back for you on repeat while you toggle each preset to see which one you like the sound of most. You can also make custom presets too, it's pretty neat. Now before we get more into the RGB lighting options, let's talk about the placement of the RGB. So Logitech have opted to put the RGB lighting on the front of the headset this time around, which is both a pro and a con, in fact possibly a deal breaker depending on which category you fall into as a consumer looking to buy this headset. Now streamers are going to love the RGB placement because now your viewers can actually see that you've forked out the extra money for RGB on your headset. It literally makes no sense for RGB to be on the back because nobody's ever going to see it apart from maybe your dog. However, people who wear glasses, bad news. Now I don't wear glasses, but I've heard several people say that they can see the RGB reflecting off the edges of their lenses, which would be really annoying. Now you can turn off the RGB lighting altogether in the software, but that's not why you bought an RGB headset, is it? Apart from that small problem, it actually looks really nice. It has two lighting zones, so the top half can be a different color to the bottom half, and they kind of blend together towards the middle. Not only that, but you can also have the top half do a different effect to the bottom half. 
So if I wanted to have the top half breathe red while having the bottom, say, cycle through the color spectrum, I can do that. And of course, you can adjust the speed of each effect and the brightness. You can also sync your lighting across several devices if you happen to own more than one Logitech product, which is always nice. I like what they've done with the RGB. It looks clean. In terms of battery life, Logitech claimed 28 hours on a single charge with the LEDs turned off, and I'm pleased to say that is very accurate. In fact, in my testing, I managed to get 29 hours out of these with the LEDs turned off. If you're gonna have the LEDs turned on, you're looking at much less than that, around about the 20 hours mark. But even if you have the LEDs turned on or off, you should definitely be able to get a couple of days out of these at the very least. Now, everything so far has been really quite good, and that brings us to sound. This is one of those headsets that doesn't blow me away in this department. It's not bad by any means, but it didn't impress me. And the main reason for that, I think, is because it doesn't have what you'd call a unique soundstage. Some headsets you'll game with and you'll think, wow, the bass is good on these, or everything has clarity. These sound very balanced. Again, they don't sound bad. I'm very happy gaming with these. They have 7.1 surround sound, and you can EQ them in the software to your liking but nothing particularly stands out to me. They could be a bit louder as well. In conclusion, would I recommend this headset? Yes, absolutely, it's my current favorite headset. It feels great, it's built well, it's very comfortable, it looks fantastic, and there's plenty of color options. The mic is okay, the sound is decent, it won't blow you away, but it is well balanced. I think they're reasonably priced as well for a wireless headset of this spec. I certainly don't feel disappointed after buying them and I'm gonna get lots of enjoyment out of these. What do you guys think? Would you pick these up and what color would you get? Let me know down in the comments. If you wanna check them out for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be appreciated. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more. You can catch me over on Instagram and Twitter at TechTesseract. But with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.